It's September in 2020. We've been living through a global pandemic for eight months now. And things are okay. But they're not. I mean, I'm one of the few people who are really lucky. I got to keep my day job and just transition to working full time from home. They had layoffs at my job, but I, again, was one of the lucky ones. Mike and I met in December just before the coronavirus blew up, and we fell in love, and we happened to really enjoy spending 24-7 together. So quarantining with the funnest guy I know ended up being the best possible scenario, considering. And my dog loves him, too. And neither of us or any of our loved ones have gotten sick. I'm telling you, I really know how fucking lucky I am. So that's what I mean when I say it's okay, but it's not, though. It's not okay because I don't live in a silo. While we're socially distancing, we're not disconnected from the rest of the world. I can see and feel what's going on. The world is in collective pain right now. People are hurting and it's real. I'm pretty sure most black people around the world feel unloved, underappreciated, disrespected, and outright neglected. And here, I have known about the disparities that people of color constantly face, but in my blind privilege, I haven't known what to do about it. I haven't always known that I could do something about it. I haven't always known that it's my problem to solve. I'm so grateful for all the information being shared in the last few months. I'm hopeful that awareness and information is helping white people make better choices that support all humankind, regardless of skin color. I'm hopeful that the protests and the Black Lives Matter movement are the wake-up call the entire world needed. But that's not it though, eh? That's not the only problem humankind collectively faces right now. The thing is, people have been hurting for a long, long time. I think in many ways, we've all been sold this idea of a better world just around the corner. Just keep working hard and we'll get there. That pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I think many people have just been looking past their suffering with the hopes that if they don't give up, things will be different tomorrow. But it's not true, is it? Just working hard? isn't enough. Our culture, our society has been telling us a dream to keep us in the machine. The Matrix, that movie where people are batteries to support a giant machine, it's not far off. And that machine is broken. It's not here for us. It's here because of us. Our society is broken. With all the things going on right now, climate change disasters, civil unrest, a global pandemic, a global shift in the world economy, I feel confident that change is upon us. I've let go of this idea that things will go back to normal soon, because while it was comfortable for me in my blind existence, that normal I knew was horribly broken. What will tomorrow look like? Mm. What will I do to make tomorrow different?
I don't think I'll be doing any grand gestures, but I am going to keep making art because art is political and I'm going to keep learning and I'm going to keep reaching out to people outside my sheltered world and find ways to connect, to help. I want to be a part of the changes that make things okay for everyone. I am the naked potter. <laughs>